Today we have a very special guest. Please welcome Imani Games. Hello, Imani. Hi, how are you? I'm great. So, Imani, tell me about the skit you're starting in. What is it about? So, my skit is about Jane Ballin. She is the first African-American judge in New York City. Um, so, throughout my skit, I'm talking about showing you guys her process from high school all the way to her making it into law school and potentially becoming a judge. Um, in this skit, you're going to see her struggles that she faced and the things that she went through and how she be beat the odds. So, wow. Um, Imani, tell me what's your major? So, I double major in Africana Studies and English with a minor in Criminal Justice. Wow, so you definitely have your hands full. Yes, I do. <laughs> Has Jane Ballin started? Has Jane Ballin's story inspired you? Jane Ballin's story has definitely inspired me. I myself am trying to become a judge. I know before I have to be a judge, I have to go to law school. So just seeing her struggle um, throughout law school and how blessed I am to be born in this time, and I'm blessed I am that she went through all that she went through. So women like me have an opportunity to go to school. Um, she paid, definitely paved the way for me, and I'm entirely grateful because some of the things that she went through and endured, I could never imagine going through. Well, everyone, I'm about to show you on the skit, so please enjoy. Enjoy. A letter to myself. Jane Ballin, the first African-American judge in New York. Dear Diary, Today I was asked what I wanted to be when I grow up, and I wasn't too sure, but I know that one day I want to be the best. I want to be the first African-American lawyer like my daddy to graduate from a college. I want to be driven. I want to be focused I want to achieve my goals. I want to beat the odds. I want to inspire. I want to make a difference one day. And I, I want to be remembered. Dear Jane Bolin, follow your dreams regardless of what they say. Dear Diary, school is getting very hard. Oftentimes, I feel alone. I feel like no one understands me. They talked about me behind my back. They said, Jane Bolin, all you do is study. Give it up. You're just going to be a housewife anyway. They wanted me to party and to let loose. They said, you never do anything fun. Give it your law school dream up, will you? You're black and you're a woman. Just give it up. Dear Jane Bolin, you are strong regardless of what they say. Dear Diary, it's been getting really tough in school. The people who I look up to don't even believe in me. My daddy said, baby girl, they will kill you. Just go to school for something else. My advisor said, you have no chance as he laughed at me in my face. All the girls whispered, she thinks she has a chance in a male dominated profession. They all said I couldn't. Dear Jane Ballin, you are determined regardless of what they say. Dear Diary, for my age and my race, I can tell that they are impressed. Statistics say that I would drop out of high school. I, I graduated at 15 years old, top of my class. Statistics say that I would be a college dropout. I, I graduated at 20 years old, top of my class. Statistics say that law school is only for the privileged white man. I, I graduated Yale Law School as the first black woman, and of course, I was top of my class. Dear Jane Bolin, you will succeed regardless of what they say. Dear Diary, today is the day I take the bar exam. I've worked so hard. It all goes down to this. They said, you only got three chances. They said, not everyone passes the bar exam. Do you have a backup plan? They said, you're always going to have to work under your daddy. Dear Jane Bolin, don't you dare give up now, regardless of what they say. Dear Diary, I will prove to them that I will do whatever it takes. They asked, do you think she could really? They answered, no. They asked, well, what if she? Dear Jane Ballin, stay focused regardless of what they say.
I'd like to present to you the first African American judge. Jane Bond, would you do the honors? All rise. Dear Jane Bullen, congrats, you did it.